num num num. Uh, ow. Ow. Ouch, that hurts. What happened, Momo? I mistakenly bit my tongue, Professor Coco. Oh, don't worry, Momo. It'll feel sore for a little while. Let's just hope it doesn't turn into a mouth ulcer. Mouth ulcer? What's that? Ha <laughs> ha! You don't know what it is? Let me explain. It's time to Coco Dive. Imagine enjoying a refreshing glass of tangy lemonade when suddenly a sharp sting appears inside your mouth. You check the mirror and notice a small round sore that wasn't there before. What you are seeing is called a mouth ulcer, a common but often misunderstood condition. Mouth ulcers, medically known as canker sores, are small, painful lesions that form inside the mouth. They are usually round or oval in shape, with a white, yellow or grey centre surrounded by a red, inflamed border. These ulcers can develop on the inner cheeks, lips, gums, tongue or even on the roof of the mouth. Although they are not contagious or life-threatening, they can significantly interfere with eating, drinking and speaking. One of the most frequent causes is accidentally biting the inside of the cheek. Also, the irritation from dental braces, sharp or broken teeth, or aggressive brushing can damage the delicate lining of the mouth. When this protective layer is injured, an ulcer may form as part of the body's healing response. However, injury is not the only trigger. Psychological stress plays a major role in ulcer formation. During periods of stress, such as examinations or emotional pressure, the immune system may become less effective, making the mouth more vulnerable. Hormonal changes, particularly during adolescence, can also increase the likelihood of ulcers. In addition, deficiencies in key nutrients such as vitamin B12, iron and folic acid are strongly linked to recurrent mouth ulcers. Diet plays a role as well. Acidic and spicy foods, including citrus fruits, tomatoes and heavily spiced snacks can irritate the mouth and trigger ulcers in sensitive individuals. If eating certain foods consistently causes burning or pain, it may indicate a dietary connection. Most mouth ulcers are self-healing and resolve within one to two weeks. During this time, discomfort can be reduced by rinsing with warm salt water, using approved topical gels, eating soft and bland foods, and staying well hydrated. These measures support healing and reduce irritation. If an ulcer lasts longer than two weeks or occurs frequently, medical advice should be sought. Persistent ulcers may be linked to allergies, digestive disorders or autoimmune conditions. Prevention focuses on maintaining a balanced diet, managing stress, practicing gentle oral hygiene and avoiding known food triggers can greatly reduce the risk of developing mouth ulcers. Clinically, mouth ulcers are classified into three main types. Minor ulcers are small and heal without leaving scars. Major ulcers are larger, deeper and more painful and they may heal slowly with scarring. Herpetiform ulcers appear as clusters of tiny sores and are often the most painful. Though mouth ulcers are small in size, they offer a fascinating example of how the body reacts to injury, stress and nutrition. Understanding them not only helps in managing discomfort, but also provides valuable insight into oral, oral and immune health. So today you learned about what causes mouth ulcers. See you in the next video with another adventure. Coco out! Yay!